Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. If you were preparing for Mathematical Olympiads, Physics Olympiads, or Computer Science Olympiads, or ISI TMI entrances, then you already know that problem solving regularly is the most important aspect of the entire preparation. If you are attending our live classes, then you must be also attending the problem solving classes which happen 5 days a week or 4 days a week depending on which time zone you are in. Apart from all of these live problem solving classes, one more tool that you can use is our problem solving software Panini 8. This is still in the beta version, that means we are still testing out some of the features. So some internal students are actually invited to try this out. Not everyone has an access as of now. If you want to get an access and try this out as well, then put a comment in the comment section. We will get back to you. But first, let me show you how to use this software. So it's very simple. You go to parini8.com and it will bring you to this landing page. Click on login with Google and you can log in with your own Gmail account and click on continue. As soon as you do that, it will ask you to select your country. There are some information that it, the software will ask from you. Basically, that will help the software to curate the content as per your need. So let me put that in, let's say India, uh, let's say this is West Bengal, and let's say the age I am putting in 14, okay? Just a demo. So we click on next and it gives you one suggestion, which is Mac Olympiad level five, but I can obviously search for more. I can search for other different levels, other different courses. For example, ISI say my entrance is here, statistics programs, IBDP, physics Olympiad and so on and so forth. So let's click on Mac Olympiad level five and as soon as I do that, the software actually sends me to this problem solver page. And it actually tells me which module this question that is hidden behind the screen. So you can see a little bit of blur thing that is behind this particular screen. It's telling me that it's a geometry problem. Its difficulty level is two star and it's for 10 points. So by default, I'm starting at 500 points and from there I can go up or sometimes I can also go down if I answer a question wrong. So let's click on start. As soon as I click on start, this particular problem, problem comes in. More importantly, it's also telling um, the t amount of time that I'm spending on this particular problem. I can essentially look at the hint. So the hint is also here. I can look at the hint and give it a try. There is this progress bar at the top. By default, it starts with 0.17% because logging into the system and starting to use it is definitely one step toward the preparation. Of course, the target would, to, would be to get 100% of the questions and get as much practice as I can. I can potentially click on skip if I don't like this question. But the skip button usually activates after 180 seconds. Let me click on a particular answer and click on go. Of course, this is a wrong answer. I um, randomly clicked at a particular option. So I can click on OK and try this question for some more time. Maybe I click on six and I try to click on go again. But wait, the go button is kind of deactivated because of course I don't want the software doesn't want you to randomly click at answers and click at go button. It wants you to actually think about the problem for some time. So the go button or the skip button, you cannot randomly click on it. The second time you want to click on the go button, you have to wait for some time. Uh, usually it's again 180 seconds. The main idea for a program like this is to help you solve as many problems as you can. One thing I tell my students all the time 
that always think about, keep on thinking about some problem. Think about it, write in your small notebook, experiment with it, and then come back and see the solution or check if it's right or wrong. Now, this software actually serves that purpose. It lets you practice random problems from different parts of mathematical olympiads or depending on what course you have chosen, as I say my interests, or statistics programs like MSTAT, IIT JAM, or physics programs like NSEB, F equals to NA. There are a variety of goals baked into the system. I'll show you in a moment how you can also ask questions in math using LaTeX into the system. Those questions can be answered by other people in the community. Sometimes they're answered by teachers and other faculty members. The main purpose of this tool is to be an additional support system with the live classes that you are already attending. Let's go ahead and click on go again. And of course, this is also a wrong answer. I uh, clicked on, on an option randomly. It's saying that, okay, this is a wrong answer. Don't worry about it. Just try again. It, try again later. And the next problem comes in. It's from number 32. It's a module name. My number 32. The difficulty level of this question is 3. The marks is 15. So I click on start. And again, a new problem comes in. Isn't it fun? I think that's the most important part of your preparation. Solve as many problems as you can. Go and try this out. Of course, after a couple of problems, the system will ask you to subscribe to our, one of our programs because this software is for our internal students um, mostly. But if you are an internal student, you can request our administrators to give you an optional access to this system. We'll be very happy if you test it out. There are this is still in a development phase. There are a lot of glitches in the system. But mostly, the main functions are there. You can always click on Get Help. And then, this particular sequence of posts come in. Of course, you can ask questions. So, for example, I can write math and ask a question. I can click on Preview. See, I used LaTeX code. And uh, I can click on Post. If I click on post, of course, someone else will be able to see it. Other users will be able to see it and they can respond to this. But so I'll not click on post and just click on escape. I can re respond to existing questions that are already there. Or I can click on this particular button which says I also have this doubt. So I can click on this. So there are, this is kind of an interactive uh, experience where users post their doubts and queries and other users and teachers help them with the process. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this software will help you to prepare for mathematical Olympiads, physics Olympiads, as I say, my entrances, statistics programs and so on. All the best. Keep on doing good mathematics. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.